Hello everyone, welcome to a new video in Selenium Tips and Tricks. Uh, we know in most of our application, uh, we used to see a loading symbol uh, when we navigate from one page to another, right? Or uh, when we do any clickable action. So let's say uh, we want to click a button A in a page. And uh, after that, we want to click button B and then button C and so on. And let's assume uh, there is a loading symbol after each click. So what do we usually do? We will click the element button A and then we will wait for the next element to be visible and clickable using the web driver wait methods and then we will click button B and so on. Uh, but what happens? Uh, so in some cases, uh, Selenium will return uh, element is clickable even when the loading symbol is there in the page and finally it will throw an exception like element is not clickable at the moment. So in that case what we have to do we have to first wait for the loading symbol to get completed and then we can click any element. So let's see how we can wait for the loading symbol to disappear from the page in this video. I have opened uh, ISETC website. Uh, all of you are uh, familiar with this site, right? Okay, I'm going to click uh, the modify search button here. What we can see, we can see a please wait loading symbol, right? And okay, I'm going to click the next day. Again, we, we were able to see uh, the loading symbol, right? This one. Okay, I'm going to write a script. So in my test case, what I'm doing is I will first click on this uh, modify search button and then I will wait for the next day, uh, next day button to be clickable and then uh, I will click the next day element and let's write a test for that. So I've already written two class files, uh, the test class file and the main class file. In the main class file, I've already uh, written the web element path for the modify search button and the next button. Also, I have uh, initialized the constructors and all, okay. So, the uh, script is ready to run. We just have to write the function now. So, let me write the function for uh, clicking the modify search button and the next button. Public void click or I can say search. I can... Uh, click the element i'm using the existing window i'm not uh, logging into the site and then uh, going to the page and modify search button what i'm doing is i can use the same uh, open window uh, so uh, directly i can click this modify search button okay and we can use modify search button dot click and then what happens we will be getting the loading symbol okay now we can wait for the next button to be clickable before uh, waiting the element to be clickable if i directly write next button dot click what happens let's see that first and now we need to call this function our test class Let me run this now and you can see the script is running in this page. It clicked on the modify search button but it did not click the next day button right. Okay well, let's see what is the error. Uh, anyway it's failed we can see and we'll see what is the error. It's a web driver exception element is not clickable at point and it's expected because uh, we didn't wait for that uh, next element to be clickable right so we will uh, write a web driver wait function i can wait around 10 seconds and then wait dot until of expected conditions let me just wait for the visibility first. And 
and then I can wait for the element to be clickable. Now we'll see next button dot click. We can run the function again. It clicked the modify search button. But still we can see it did not click the next day button. And we'll see what is the error. Again it has failed. Selenium web driver exception element is not clickable at point. So even though we uh, waited for the visibility of the next button and we waited for the element to be clickable. But still the it is throwing element is not clickable at the moment. So the best approach is to wait for the loading symbol to be completed and then we can wait for the visibility or we can wait for the element to be clickable or uh, you can only wait for the loading symbol to be completed and then you can directly click the next button. We can write a function to wait for the loading symbol to get completed. Public void wait for loading icon. Disappear. And uh, what are the methods that are available for the invisibility of the element? So, like this uh, visibility of next button, we have something called invisibility of uh, the element, right? In uh, web driver wait functions. But what happens if we use that method? If you write a function to wait for the invisibility of this loading symbol, it usually throws some uh, proxy element, not visible exception. Because uh, in case if it gets loaded uh, very fast, then the element uh, won't be present in the page, right? But this function expects the element to be available in the page and then it will wait for its invisibility. So, of course, it will throw the exception if there is no loading symbol. Then you might be thinking, okay, what if I put it in the try catch block? But what happens in that case? Uh, even uh, if you are using the invisibility of invisibility method you have to give a timeout for the invisibility right so it will wait for that complete timeout uh, time i mean if you are uh, putting some 60 seconds so it will wait for uh, one minute before it throws the exception so that's like a time consuming right so it's not an efficient method uh, i'll show you one code that we can use to wait for uh, this loading symbol to disappear so first what we have to do we have to inspect that loading symbol so let me open the developer console and in my last video i have uh, shown like how to inspect a disappearing web element right so it's a disappearing web element it will be available only for some time so the same um, logic we can apply it here what i'll do i open the sources tab i'm on the sources tab and uh, clicking the modify search button and as soon as i click on the modify search button i have to click the f8 key in my keyboard Press the F8 keyboard, F8 key in my keyboard. So now it is post in the debugger mode. Now we can easily debug the please wait. And we are able to see it. And since there is only text, there is no ID and all. I'm using XPath for now. Okay. We got the element and let us add it to our uh, script. loading icon now what we have to do is instead of this web element what you can do put it list web element even though there is only one element in the site you can store this as a list of web element so that we can take the size uh, if you are declaring using the web element, we cannot take the size of this next button. How many elements are there in the page and all. But if we are uh, declaring with a list, then we can take the size of the loading icon. Okay, how many are there in the page? Okay, I am going to write a while loop here. And I will check the size of this loading icon. If the size is not equal to zero that means it is present in the web page then i will repeat this loop 
but you cannot you know uh, write this uh, while loop and for infinite time because sometimes there might be uh, some uh, you know if your uh, site is getting stuck and if the, if, if the loading symbol would be there for a long time so in that case our uh, script will be like running uh, it will never end right so we can put a uh, end point also here so let me give uh, some count in count equal to zero something like a break okay and uh, let's say my count is less than 10 okay and it will wait for a uh, 10 seconds so uh, to make it as seconds what we can do uh, I can wait for the loading icon to be disappeared every one second thread dot sleep it is one second since we are checking the count value here we have to increment the count in each run okay so what this function will do it will wait uh, it will check if the loading icon size is not equal to zero that means uh, if the element is present in the website and we'll see if the count is less than 10 if it is still there uh, it will go inside the loop and it will wait for one more second and the same process will continue until the loading icon gets disappeared from the page or the count reaches 10. now we can call this function instead of these three lines so now it's easy right since we have to throw the exception let us run it now it clicked the modify search button and it clicked the next day button so the test case would have passed right it passes there is no error so what do you think this is the best efficient way um, uh, to wait for the loading symbol to get disappear from the page right because uh, it's a time saving as soon as uh, the loading icon uh, disappeared from the page it will come out of the loop so it's a time saving method it's uh, not only for the loading icon uh, if you want to wait for any element to disappear from your page you can use this logic you can wait for the element size to be zero and also please don't forget to apply a break or otherwise uh, it might end up in the loop only so i have i hope you have liked this video if so uh, as usual please don't forget to click the like button and uh, please do subscribe to my channel with some other interesting feature we will see in my next video thank you